Hi, Russ here. You may recall the last time we spoke, Re and I were converting this old workshop into a tiny house. Well, we're not doing that anymore. That's obvious now. Why, you ask? That is a long story. Tell you what, watch this little dramatization that we've prepared for you and it should explain how we have gotten to this point. It's been just over a year since Russ was the one to bring up the tiny house project. When asked about it, he gives stock answers. When pressed further, he becomes defensive and evasive. I've tried to be understanding and wait for him to tell me what's bothering him, but we can't afford to wait any longer. A decision must be made. It's time to get tough. And when that doesn't work, I'll beg, I'll plead, but I won't give up, and I won't back down. You know why we're here? Yeah, I think so. State your name for the record. You're really gonna make me do this? Oh, yeah. All right, fine. I am Russell Miller. In two years, I'll retire from a job that I've held gosh, since I was 16. I've lived in the same small town my entire life. I have three wonderful grown children. For 30 years, I've been married to you, the most wonderful, yeah, yeah, creative yeah, woman yeah. that I've... Quit I'd... trying to talk your way out of this. Was... Don't make me have to play bad cop. Uh, we are getting to the bottom of this. I don't know what's going on, but I am going to find out. So let's start with an easy question. Why did we stop making videos about building a tiny house? Stop making videos. Now, this isn't about me calling this place a hoarder house now, is it? Oh. Because, I, I mean, I, I've apologized for that. And, and once I, I realized that no. I didn't understand and I got on board and started yeah, helping no, you, no, I thought things no. went pretty good. Yes, you're absolutely right. They did. That is not what this is about. Okay. Okay? Right. No, no. After, after you got on board, the downsizing went great. We're in a holding pattern right now until we find out where we're going. Once we know where to put the stuff, then we can, can downsize some more. That's not what this is about. Let, let me try a different direction, okay? Okay. okay? okay. Why can we not continue to stay in this mobile home? <laughs> can I count the ways? Uh, my goodness. They, they twisted the frame on this mobile home when, when they put it on this lot and that's caused all kinds of multiple problems over the years that didn't show themselves until later. I mean, uh, the floor leaked, the walls leaked, we've got water damage to floors. There are places here that you could just step through the floor if you're not very careful. We've had to cover them with boards. Uh, the, the siding's coming off, the plumbing is is rotting away because it's so old. The bathtub's so old that it's developing cracks. And the roof, geez, we uh, we bought a 20 by 60 foot used billboard. Makes a fantastic tarp. That it does. And it's covering like 90% of the roof right now to keep the rain off our heads. Yeah, well, not meaning to sound harsh, but what exactly is your plan to keep a roof over our heads? Oh, we, we're gonna convert that 12 by 24 workshop into a tiny house. Are we? We were. Maybe we still are. I, I really don't know anymore. Okay, well let me try rewording that question. Why haven't we already converted the building into a tiny house? Well, we started. Went pretty good at first and made the, made the French drain out in the yard and it's, it's still working great. Yeah. But then when we got on the, the tiny house building, things started to go wrong and, and just we had to keep changing our plans. Okay, well just for the record, what went wrong? Okay, there was that day that everyone, friends, relatives, total strangers came over to help us. And we accomplished some work with it, but we also discovered that 
we had all this this damage on one side of the building the the sills were rotted away the wall was rotted away we almost pulled it apart trying to turn the building to get it on the footers that we had poured so all this damage can be repaired I mean we could fix it it's just a question of getting out there and doing it okay so one more for the record why has the work not already been done so much went wrong I just kind of lost my motivation to do it but we've discussed alternatives to having to repair the building though I mean right oh yeah yeah we uh we talked about uh, the fact that what it would cost us to do the repairs and then go ahead and, and convert the building to a tiny house we could just build something from the ground up so so we started you know, getting some ideas, drawing some floor plans, getting some price estimates. Hang and on, floor plans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as I recall, those floor plans kept getting bigger and bigger until you finally had to admit something else that you had been keeping from me all along. Mm -hmm. So how about just, you know, for the record, you state that admission. No. Come on. You really want me to? Yeah, come on. I, um, I, I had a slight problem with some of the small spaces we were talking about. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, how about saying that louder, please? I had, I have a problem with some of the small spaces we're talking about. So let me get this straight. You admit that we can't stay in this building because it's in such bad shape. And you don't want to build the tiny house that we've invested all of our savings in for so long. So we're basically left without a plan. Is that it? No. We can still repair the workshop and convert it. Don't even go there. Look, you've already admitted that you don't want to live in that small a space. I know we don't, we talked about getting a mobile home, we ruled that out, but what if we got something along the lines of a travel trailer and moved it in on the left? What? Travel? What just what? happened? What did you say? Travel? I said, what? what if we got a travel trailer and moved it in? You're not listening to me. Trailer. We could get a travel trailer and move it in, that way you didn't have to build anything. There yeah. wouldn't be any construction. Yeah, that, that'll work. That sounds like a good idea. Why don't we... Oh, yeah, don't even just... sound so enthusiastic about it. Okay, uh, look, I don't want to be here any more than you do, all right? You know that I have my reasons for not wanting to be on this piece of property. Oh, yes, I, I know, and I understand them. But we've talked about the fact that being here is, is our most economical and practical solution to our problems. And with your agoraphobia and PTSD, it makes it even more so. So... You've always talked about wanting a, a forever home, so let's just oh, make one right please, here. please, we're not talking about that anymore. Forever's not as long as it used to be. That's not what this is about, so don't try to use it as an excuse. You are keeping something from me, and, and it's... I know, hang on, you need to understand, you are my comfort zone. I can make a home wherever you want to be. If you want to move somewhere else and settle down, we can move somewhere else and settle down. But Just, I really don't have some other place that I want to settle down. Just, we can just do it right here. It'll work out best for all of us. I'll get used to it. I can adjust. Russ, I can't ask you to do that. I could never be happy living with you being unhappy please please just tell me what it is you're keeping from me it's really not anything important it's just you know it's something i kind of thought i might do someday when i retire but life hasn't worked out that way so my love I'm please I'm... please do not do this to me do not do this to me tell me what it is that you are all right all right I don't want to build here or anywhere. 
that matter? I, I, I don't. I've been settled all my life. I want to travel. You want to what? I want to travel. Now she knows my secret. Our plans for the future have been wiped away and we find ourselves back at square one. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to find out what happens next. While you're at it, give us a thumbs up. We could use the ego boost.